How does the future unwind? Is it foreordained? Fated? Immutable? Or do we shape it ourselves? Hand-knit it, so to speak. Or if you're a gypsy, can it be foretold? If you're a gypsy, and in England, and it's May, it's time to tie the ancient traders together again with paste and string and travel the countryside. To tell a fortune here and there? To pick a pocket or two? The gypsies of England are called in the Romany tongue, Vidikai, half-breeds. Most of them are blonde now, blue-eyed. And the only thing gypsy left in them is their hearts. Lovely smell. Me. <laughs> oh, I found some cologne in a lady's room. Oh, adopted lady. That's rich as Croesus. And such a fine house, Ma. I just got about eight million rooms. I will not have you fooling around with the married ladies. <laughs> Widow. Oh. Ah. That's a good boy. Oh. She's dying to have a fortune told. Hmm? I says, Madam Lola's the best in the business. Seventh daughter of a... <laughs> Of a seventh daughter descended from the king of the gypsies himself. Sees all, knows all, and tells all. She'll be along in a couple of minutes. What's her name? Her name is Maud Gillespie. Gillespie, eh? Mm -hmm. I'll see her name. Mary, Margaret, May, Minerva. Could it be Maud? Oh, ain't you marvelous? <laughs> There's a picture on the table. A Colonel Coldstream Guard. We've loved a mousey from our tiger cat. Tiger cat? Mm hmm. Now, how the devil can I work tiger cat in, eh? Oh, uh, why don't you see it in a great flash of light the way Queen Agnes always done? I will not have you mock Queen Agnes in front of me. Queen Agnes had the gift she did. You could always tell when it was on her. The sweat on her arms. The cords in her neck. She said my baby would be a boy. That my man would drown. And it always happened. I used to say to her, Agnes, you and me have got the same blood. Why can't I see it too? What? Hey, well, you yeah, have me. Oh, oh you can't have everything. Now, I can't enough. fight on a May morning, Mark. Give us a little kiss. Oh, you get this your ugly face away from hey. me. Oh, I got... Oh, you. <laughs> oh. That's her? That's her. Give him our love, Doc.
Oh, I got lovely hands. Like a baby. Oh. What's your name? Mary. Margaret. No. No. Could it be Maud? What? It is Maud. Something else. Mousy. Oh, what happens is that to him? I'll see a tiger cat. And you... In a wedding. Flowers, beautiful. The Miss Appley of Rasta. I don't believe you. Tell me the truth. Get out. Well, I won't either get out. I paid for my reading. There was no reading. Get out. Are you dismissing me? Get out, you fancy woman. And stay away from the boys. Why, you gypsy jade. You should be reported. Run off the road. Can you more? You always find a way to break it up. Look up the trailer. Or what? That is another thing, old woman. You lie a sin across me again. There'll be all kinds of trouble. You understand? Just like your pa. Black hair and black ink for blood. Gypsy blood, Ma. Same as yours. Mm, if you keep squeezing, you'll spill some of it. Fuck, I said, Ma. <laughs> no sense of fighting on a spring day. Yeah, you could do it. Do what? Kill her. What's that supposed to mean? I've seen something, Mario. Just like Agnes. Oh, seen what? That woman. Done in by a man with curly black hair. Like me? Like you. <laughs> Only it wasn't you. <laughs> and it won't be. It won't be. It won't be. You could make a bob or two. How? Waiting table. Work? It's got its compensations. Like what? What the lady gets. Oh, what are we waiting for? Some old and some young. And all lonesome. Right out. Right out. <laughs> Mary, what are
doing here? How did she get here? Madam Lola is very sensitive. That's all right, old girl. It's all wrong. You clear out of here and let my boy alone. Please, let him alone. Here yeah, now, we went down to the inn, Mario and myself. We went looking for work. And, and all of a sudden, she came along. No, no, and, no, uh, no, no, let me tell her. Don't please let me All right, love, go ahead. Go ahead, love. Well, now, this is what happened. <laughs> there were five of us. Bunny Grant. Oh, you don't know them. Anyhow, Bunny or someone said, Let's all go down to Sussex for the week. And I said, fine. But when we, when we got to Burnley, we were absolutely starving. So we went to the inn, and then... <laughs> and there we were, waiting on tables, not as you please. <laughs> they were... Uh, we got to talking. And, and, and drinking. Drinking. Oh, and drinking more. And, drinking. <laughs> and they were so serious. And, and we hate serious people. <laughs> But Mario here, he told us what you'd seen about me. <laughs> Bunny said, you have to bring her back to the inn so she can do it all before we go on. Funny. as you can with that drunken bunny of yours. And you'd never sell highs on me, boy, again. No more. More. Oh, you want to be committed. You get out of here! Oh, hey, come on. Now, she don't mean no harm, do you, Ma? All right. What's everybody carrying on so? We were having such a good show. Let's have some more fun. Come on. What a boy. What a Again. What's that? You ain't blind. It's a ring. From her. From her, yeah, from her. By way of her late husband. Well, I've got news for you all. Cheerio and talk so. Where are you going? I'm going back to the inn, Sonny. It's still early. You can join me there if you get rid of Ma. about? I just found a thief in my midst. What? Oh, I might have known I'd find you two here again. Captain, arrest this man. Do what? He's a thief. Oh, she don't know what she's talking about. He stole this ring from a woman at the inn, Mrs. Maud Gillespie. Oh, I never did. 
She gave it to me. That's right, I've seen her. Liar. You're making a formal charge. I'm telling you he stole the ring. Oh, this is a place that... Well, come on, you ain't. Come, come on. Come on, what are come you trying to do? Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of here. We don't want you city cars around this town. I can walk on the earl. You know, what'd you do that for? Don't put him in the clink for a week. Yeah, they might, Martin Pay. Well, I've been looking to leave this town ever since I first got here. Why, Mario and me, we were going to set out together. The Sussex? Uh, maybe what's it to you? Where are you going? I'm going to the inn. She'll tell him he didn't steal no ring. She ain't gone already. Carrots. Did you mean what you said about wanting to leave? Why? It's all yours. Five quid. That's all I got. You leave tonight. Tonight? And don't stop to see her. You're willing to see your own son? Oh, blimey, I've met some bummy one. Well. My... All right. I'll send you a postal card. Care of Bedlam. Which way's the end? Straight away up the street. More. you gone. What are you up to, old witch? Haven't you persecuted me enough? Why didn't you go with the others? I would have, except for you and that ridiculous son of yours. The police calls. It seems I must appear at court tomorrow. I told them the ring was a gift. It was like trying to explain Chinese to an Eskimo. Just my luck. Get tangled in with gypsies. I don't know which is worse. You or that filthy stable boy's son. Mario. Well, speak of the devil. Mario, go away. You can't stop interfering, can you? Why'd you lie to that copper, Ma? They couldn't have let you out. You haven't got no money. Tell it's come along with five quid. That's what it took right on the nose. Five pounds to get you out of prison. You're not worth it. You've got your clothes. You're coming with me. With you? <laughs> I'm coming with you. No. Coming with me? Don't touch me. Now you gave me this ring. And you said you locked me. You amuse me for a moment. Now take your hands off me. Now what is it? A few hours ago, you were wild about your gypsy. Take your hands off me. Scum. Oh, shut up. Scum. Shut up. Scum. Or 
Or is the answer somewhere in between? Is the very pattern we pick somehow foreordained? Lola Montillo saw the future and tried desperately to change it. But she did not see all the steps leading to the disaster. Perhaps in trying so hard to prevent it, she caused it.